Hey guys, what's up? Chris here of Beer Nation. I'm doing a beer mail today. I haven't done one of these in a long time, so I figured I would do it for this one. It's from another fellow Beer Geek Nation member, Tank 777. Um, out in Arizona, aka Jameson. Check out his channel. Uh, just got home, so I'm sitting here all day. Paper. 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 Okay. Ooh, lots of beers. All right, let me uh, put this down, unwrap these, and we will go. From there. Starting from right to left here. Um, again, from Tantrum 777. Big thanks to him. Check him out. He's a fellow Beer Geek Nation member. This is his homebrewed double IPA. Um, he said it's a massive, massive beer. He said it's not quite carbonated yet, so I'm going to let this sit in a warm room upstairs. Um, I think he said about another week it should be good, but I, I think it's actually a Westy 12 bottle. Um, I could be wrong, but I think it is. I don't know if other Trappist beers come in that, but that's definitely what the Westy 12s come in, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, the next one is one he really wanted me to try, and I've heard of it, um, but I cannot get Odell out near me, and I've tried to get stuff from them, um, and they won't send it, so um, not much I can do except trade for it. But this is their Deconstructed Gold Nail. Um, there you can see it's 40% ale, 44% ale, 40, 33% ale aged in oak, 30 in bourbon, and 3 in wine barrels, so it's a freaking epic beer um, and I believe he was telling me that they use the yeast strain they use is actually a wild yeast from Colorado which is actually pretty amazing um, that they would even attempt to do that so I can't wait to try this one it really comes highly recommended from him so looking forward to that one definitely gonna review this one and oh, probably a week or so so that's gonna be a special one very cool stuff thank you sir um, Next one's another one actually I really always want to try. This is the Ballast Point um, Sea Monster. It's their Imperial Stout. Um, I know Ryan uh, Stumpy Joe Jr. always talked about this one. He said it's really good. And Jameson uh, said he can get it pretty readily available. Would I like to try it? Absolutely. I will never turn down an Imperial Stout. So definitely, I mean, I love Ballast Point. I've never had a bad beer from them. Um, I can't get this one around me. I guess it's pretty limited from what I understand. So. Definitely looking forward to that one. Going to review that one soon, too. And actually, the reason we started this whole trade was for these. Ah, yes. Um, if you guys haven't watched my review for this year's batch, um, do it now. It's the one that came out on uh, Monday. This beer is amazing. This beer is amazing. These are going right in the cellar. Um, I've got a trade that I'm doing with Winton, a.k.a. Beer at Chituba to get two more bottles of this um, and then the collection will be complete and they're just going to go in the cellar. I might break one out every, you know, Christmas again maybe, but an amazing beer. Hoard it. I'm hoarding it. I'm hoarding it. I'm hoarding it. Um, hopefully I can find some more, but um, I think four bottles is going to be plenty to be honest with you. So with that said, guys, big thanks to Tantrum777, aka Jameson. Um, all the beer got here very safe and tact. Um, no problems there. Really good stuff, man. Really, really awesome extras. So I really appreciate that. Um, check out the video he did on the stuff I sent him if you want to see the other side of this trade. So with that said, guys, uh, remember, life's too short. Drink some beers. Cheers.